Hello once again, people! Uh, so, uh, yeah, we're basically marathoning on my random Quake levels to check all these out and start making some progress. Um, yeah, we're making a lot of progress, actually. We're relatively close to actually closing out Aftershock once and for all. Which is definitely nice, because I've kind of been doing this since, like, 2015. So, it would kind of be nice to bring some closure to this, finally. Um, <laughs> because I think we've kind of stretched it out for a very long time. Um, so anyway, let's check out Map 01Q. Um, as might be interpreted by the name, it's basically inspired by Map 01, which is, of course, the first level in Doom 2. Uh, so, it's a lot like Cassenti 2 was, except it's different. Yeah, and you'll see how when I loot it up. Blinky lights everywhere! Yeah, um, as you see, it's also just made for deathmatch. There's also no level name. But yeah, blinky lights everywhere. Here's some guns. As you see, that's the starting area. Instead of being like a high area with a bridge all that, a lot more of like an accurate design. As in, you can see that, you can see the pillars. It's very visible what you're exactly dealing with here. As opposed to Kasei 2, whereby it modified things to make it more for a single player design. This one's basically just doing whatever you know, it kind of needs to to make it look just like the Doom version. So yeah, you have your stuff near the pillars. Da 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 I picked up random things and not realizing it. I see random structures. And the secret areas are already open up because, you know, who'd want to make difficulty in one of these? So as you see, very convenient, very accessible. All the Doom 2 secrets are available for our visibility. Because whoever heard of spamming every wall? Who in God's name would want to do that anyway? More efficient than Doom 2! It's just like Doom 2, it's more efficient, and actually better. Here we are, with a rocket launcher. Ooh, rocket launcher. And blinky lights. Appreciate the blinky lights. They are... The ultimate meme of existence. I don't know where I'm going with this. But I don't know! I just wander around, I'm shooting things, I'm having fun, you're having fun, we're all having fun here. I want that super nail gun. How does one get to it? Hmm. How does one get to the super nail gun? Question of the day! Oh, there's a way outside to this courtyard. You can also just come down here and get out to the courtyard. There's also another platform here. Is this where the Doom Edson would normally be? Right here? I probably shouldn't move forward because that's probably like the level that's it's straight ahead or something. Except it's deathmatch, so there shouldn't be one. I see. Huh. Nothing there. Watch that! Okay, what's this thing we do? Huh. A totally useless hole in the wall. Brilliant. So we got that. We got this. Nothing there. Let's go outside to the courtyard, whereby you can see there is a grenade launcher and nothing else. Nothing up in the sleeves, nothing really at all out here. Just one giant freaking courtyard for some reason. It's not necessarily big. It's like a random dark corner. So you see it's very much so just, um... Can use this little raised area here to get on top of the platform. So if I do like this, there we are, super nail gun. Bam! I got everything. I got all the guns. And with that in mind, that's really everything here. It's really made to be just an accurate 
more accurate version of what we saw in Cassandi 2. But we have that one actually had playability and things to do and actual level ads and all that. This is basically just us um, playing a level that is really bare bounds. Basically just map 01 if all the secrets were found. With no level ads or enemies. So yeah, faithful, more faithful recreation for sure, but... Not exactly interested because there's nothing to really do here. So, um, yeah. <laughs> so that's that level. Yay! Another one down. And another boring deathmatch level out of the way. So, with that in mind, that in mind, people, thank you all for watching. I know it's been pretty pointless as usual. Eventually, we'll hopefully make it to some more single-player adventures. That that definitely would be nice. Is Yeah, it feels like we haven't really been fighting many enemies in a while. Um, we had, like, outskirts and nuclear reactor, but outside of, like, that, we haven't really been seeing many single-player levels for quite a while. I think, like, there was also claws, but that was, like, three enemies, so... <laughs> I'm talking, like, an actual full, like, full-out, fleshed-out level. We haven't seen, like, one of those since, like, the cult... So that that's kind of been a while. Yeah. So in that mind, that mind, people. Thank you all for watching, people. It's been an adventure, and I shall see you all in the next adventure.